Here is yesterday's answer dealing with dopamine and prolactin secretion. A 28-year-old man complains of hearing voices, hallucinations, catatonic behavior. All right, so he's definitely out there a little bit. You prescribe him chlorpromazine. Anytime you hear an azine, that means it's a dopamine antagonist. So he comes back after a while, he's feeling less masculine, decreased libido, and he's lactating from his nipples. You first order blood work to rule out hypothyroidism before taking any future steps. Which of the following explains a series of events? So as you look through the choices, you notice we have to talk about dopamine and the thyroid and uh, lactation. So let's talk about that. So if we just draw a picture here of the brain, here's the cerebellum, all right? This is the posterior side, this is the front or the anterior side. You'd have over here, let's say the hypothalamus, and then coming down here, and you'd have your pituitary gland over here. Now, I know it's exaggerated the size, but I just wanna try to illustrate a point. So this is the anterior side, this is the posterior side. What are the hormones of the anterior pituitary? Well, use the acronym FLAT uh, PIG. And F would be FSH. This would be LH. Careful here. This is ACTH because what's the other A? The other A is ADH. And uh, what else comes here is also oxytocin. How do I not get those confused? Well, ADH is shorter than ACTH. And if you notice, uh, there are a lot more hormones coming out of the anterior pituitary. So there's got to be a lot more letters in this A over here. All right, TH, thyroid stimulating hormone. That was luteinizing, follicle stimulating hormone. PI, that's going to be your prolactin. And then G, that's going to be GH. Now, these over here, prolactin and GH, I'm going to circle them in blue because those are going to be your basophilic cells. And then over there, the FSH, the LH, all that, those are going to be your acidophilic cells. So basically, you got a bunch of acidophilic cells in here, as well as you also got a bunch of basophilic cells. Again, remember, these are all anterior pituitary hormones. So what's happening here? Up in the hypothalamus, so again, this is the hypothalamus you have an area here of a bunch of cells and uh, this area here is called the arcuate nucleus. If you remember a ganglion, it's a group of cells. You don't use the word ganglion in the central nervous system, you say nucleus. And uh, this nuclei is secreting from here dopamine. So dopamine, what's happening is it's gonna get secreted into the bloodstream right here, the hypothalamal hypophysial tract. So dopamine is going to make its way and it's going to reach to these cells here and then it will bind to a receptor on the cell and by doing that right over here it's supposed to exert a negative effect and by negative effect I actually mean to inhibit prolactin secretion. So it's going to inhibit prolactin. Maybe a better way to draw this is you draw these two solid lines meaning inhibit. So here's a question. What type of cell is prolactin coming from? Prolactin is coming from the lactotrophs because prolactin stimulates uh, lactation. All right. What about growth hormone? Growth hormone, well that's going to be a somato Troph. So remember, communication with the anterior pituitary, that's through the blood. Communication with the posterior pituitary, that's directly a neuron involved. And there's two groups of nuclei over here. Just to mention them, you have the supraoptic nuclei and you also have the paraventricular. Why paraventricular? Because it's around or nearby the third of four ventricles that contain CSF in the brain. The, the first and second would be your lateral ventricles that are going to be up here. Yeah, the third is down there. And then the fourth is right around the cerebellum.
which will then connect with the spinal cord and go down. So let's go back to the question. Okay, he exhibits sign of psychosis due to unregulated control of somatotroph. Ah, so I forgot to mention something. What causes uh, this psychosis or this psychotic state? Well, it's not necessarily just high dopamine levels. It's also uh, high dopamine uh, receptors that are also activated. So there needs to be a way to basically shut down or turn off this dopamine or this receptor activation to prevent the psychosis from happening. So let's go back again. All right, he exhibits some so psychosis due to unregulated control of somatotroph. Somatotroph, what's coming from that? Growth hormone. So that has nothing to do with it, so we can cross that choice off. He exhibits sign of psychosis due to unregulated control of dopamine. Okay, possibly. Additionally, hyperthyroidism must be ruled out because increased TSH levels can cause increased prolactin secretion. That is true, and it is pretty close. But if somebody had increased TSH and then therefore also had increased T3 and T4, they would have conditions such as exophthalmus, They'd have palpitations, sweating, exophthalmal, so their large eyes. So that actually is not a choice. He exhibits signs of prolactinemia, meaning excessive prolactin secretion, uncontrolled lactotrophs. Okay. Additionally, hypothyroidism must be ruled out because increased thyroxine levels. Nope. Hypothyroidism is low. You're not going to have increased thyroxine, which is T4. So that's out. Exhibit signs of prolactinemia on layer. Yeah, that's possible. Additional hypo must be ruled out because increased TSH levels can cause increased prolactin. Yeah, this is actually the reason because with hypo, uh, the thyroid gland is going to be destroyed, right? So you're going to have the low T3 and T4. So the others, TRH and uh, TSH, those are going to be high. And TSH has a way of stimulating the lactotrophs to cause uh, prolactinemia. So D is the answer. But just to go here, he exhibits signs of decreased dopamine. Again, somatotrophs, you can just rule that one out. Thank you. I hope this is helpful. You can go to my website for more questions of the days, or you can go to my Twitter account to stay connected. Take care.